Hey, how you guys doing? It's Medusa Morales Comic. Welcome to Cartoons and Serial. Our, I guess it would be like almost a summer podcast here, but the way we record it, uh, where we go back and look at cartoons uh, from our youth to see if they hold up over time. Uh, we got a, a fairly decent compliment of the Cartoons and Serial folks here tonight on the line. It's Brother Beavis. What's happening, man? Uh, welcome to the, the death of my childhood, y'all. Oh, you, we just tried to hold this off as long as we could. And then, yeah, come on. Uh, Sunday yeah. afternoon, we're like, okay, you had a good run. This is it. <laughs> I'm sorry, youth. Uh, also on the line, it's, it's Snarf Snarf if you're on YouTube. But it's Big Hunch. What's happening, man? What's up? This ain't my childhood. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, come on. What, the dates match up with your childhood. What are you talking about? Um, I'm Daniel graduating high school when this comes out. And? And that ain't my childhood, damn near adulthood. Listen, man, I told this story on the uh, the Marvel Secret Wars podcast. I was in tenth grade, y'all, and my my uh, Star Wars figures were still wrestling for the championships of the intergalactic empire belts uh, in tenth grade. So your childhood can be as extended as long as you need it to be, sir. Uh, I hear you, Tinkerbell or Peter Pan. Oh, yeah, Consequently, there were also no girls in this con conversation. Yeah, I, say, well. I, don't, I don't know how. We yeah, I don't know if there's wrong. a correlation. Is that correlation or causation? But uh, they definitely were together. Completely independent events, but I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. They, they uh, will go hand in hand. Nice. All right. So if you're on YouTube, you can see our new logo for Cartoon and Serial here. Uh, shouts out to Female Perspective. If you're a longtime listener, you should be able to find her on the logo. If you can't, holler at me. Uh, uh, how, what's, what, how do you I'm like looking. your. What? <laughs> uh, you can't see her? I think I see you at the bottom right. Yes, you do. Yes, she uh, is there. Uh, Watching over us as always. Uh, so what do you think of your, your designs here? You know, it has the whole crew. Uh, you know, Will Stack's not here tonight. Sandman not with us, but I'm sure he's listening to this as I speak. Uh, you know, what what do you think of your design, uh, Hotch? You said you thought you looked like uh, uh, Teddy <laughs> Roosevelt. Flat <laughs> Ned Flanders. <laughs> It's not that bad, dude. What about your jammies? Uh, interesting Spider-Man uh, offshoot something. Ben, ben Riley. I don't know what that. Yeah, it was based on your choice of show. When you had the opportunity to pick a show, you picked Marvel superhero. I, four score and seven months ago, yes, I did. That's awful. It took That's you terrible. four score to pick it, then to four score it. to forget it, and then and four then score to, act to like record it. Happen. it. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. Exactly. You gotta live with these, you gotta live with these choices. Yes, I'm exactly. living with them. No, I you know mean I gotta like them. Uh brother Beavis, what about your uh your jammies? I'm thinking I would watch this show. I, we need to like reach out to MeTV and they could like cut in like bumpers <laughs> of us like doing the Mystery Science Theater 2000 over the yes. old ass cartoons. There because you go. We would provide the voice and this would be us. I, mean, I would watch was, that show. I would too. I, I, I just aside for another topic, uh, let me pause for a, a extra record. So MeTV is creating this MeToons. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be an app or if it's on actual like cable or broadcast. whatever. Oh, no, yeah. MeTV is over the air. It's not. Yeah, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. MeTV is over the air, but I'm not sure what MeToons is going to be. Or so they're doing like really essentially what Cartoon Network was originally set up to be, <laughs> like where it's running <laughs> running all of these old cartoons from essentially it ain't really even our youth because some of these shows are from the '60s. But shows that we watched when we were kids, you know, so from Tom and Jerry to Bugs Bunny to Wacky Races to Inspector Gadget. Like, I mean, it's a real Don't forget good... Top Cat. And yeah, Top Cat. Hey, I never watched that. We also I did. Yeah. yeah, okay. But but I mean, it has a bunch of... Yeah, but it has a bunch of shows on there that we... Bull, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Like, it's all going to be on there. So it's kind of like an interesting idea. And I was like, oh, that would be interesting if it was like... I, it was literally on as soon as I turned the TV on and I didn't have anything left to do. Like, am I really going to go back and watch like a cartoon from the 60s no. that I liked when I was 12? No, no. But yeah, that's, that's like, but how many times do you sit down now? Like, let me just put something on. And then like mm -hmm. 10 minutes later, you're like, fuck this. I hate streaming services. I hate all y'all. I can never find yeah. anything I want to watch. And but I'm paying like, for it. There's value to just like, let me turn this on. Oh, like sometimes... Like sometimes you turn on, and you're like, "Oh, Avengers: Infinity War is on. 
I can leave this on and go do whatever right. I'm going to do. Like this, that's what I see mm. this cartoon lineup being worth. Yeah. Hutch. Yeah, I guess you, you are correct. Yeah. I hate streaming services, uh, but I'm paying for them and I ain't watching shit. They should put it's them all inc- together and they could call them cable. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible that we have all of these choices and they're still not. I know, them. right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's an, bigger it's than like it used to be like cable. You have all these channels and there was nothing to watch on. Now you have you got to get cable for whatever one show you got to watch. And then you got to mm. get like all these streaming services for some patchwork of other bullshit. And there's yes. still nothing to watch. There's more than that. There's more than there ever was when there still wasn't anything to watch. Right. Yeah. It's amazing. Right. Good times. Remake cartoon. Where the fuck yeah. that <laughs> shit is. Uh, oh, well, let me let me further push the bear into the water here. Hodge. There's actually a Married with Children cartoon uh, reboot coming as well. Mm-hmm. At least they got the original voice actors because they're all alive. But, yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah. But yeah. But <sighs> like it. But. Which it's, well, it, you know, yeah. Which but, of Marcy's former? Oh, like, I didn't see that. It was Steve only the, or the du- other dude. Yeah, it was only the Bundys, uh, mm. and the in the preview that I saw. But Marcy's um, got to show up. Oh, I'm sure she's you in it. Think? Yeah, there's no yeah. way. Yeah, there's no way. But I'm just saying, just the idea that the Bundys have a cartoon, uh, show but, that's going to be. But you don't want to see him in real life. I don't want to see it at all. Like yeah. I want to see the car. I can't even go back and watch the. I, this is off topic here. I can't even watch any show essentially now because my kids ruined it for me. What's a laugh track? There's a, there's not a chance I would put a show on with a laugh track. Not a chance. So yeah. like even watching something like that as a dated as it is, it's probably not the dated jokes and the overt racism and sexism that I would find <laughs> offensive. It's the freaking laugh track that would probably send me over the edge. I can't even do it. So yeah, it's just weird. You could, you could probably turn the sound down and still get everything you want to get. Yeah, out. I, that that should be a good app too. Like watch these shows without laugh tracks. Yeah, like you just like with like noise, still you be noise canceling headphones that just cancel laugh track. Yeah, that would be interesting because man, I just some shows that that shows I would actually go back and watch. I think a little bit maybe, but I, I don't know. Mash don't got a laugh track, does it? Mm, it do. Oh, that's awful. Anyway, all right, let's jump into the show, y'all. So it's the Thundercats. Uh, but the first thing I have to admit is that I did not watch this show as a youth. Uh, we're I gonna remember. Get to the, yeah, we're going to get to the time and when it was on and all of that. But I didn't watch it. I, of course, the logo was uh, magnificent. Uh, the You can p- go to Hot Topics and pick up a T-shirt with it, and I may get one after this podcast. But the show in and of itself i didn't really watch now we do have a watcher of that show which would be brother beavis on here right now and we're gonna kind of lean on him for knowledge for sure all right let's go so i don't i don't have the encyclopedic knowledge of when these shows were on and what channel they were that you guys seem to so i don't know what what whether what situation it was that i could watch this because there was any number of shows where like I'd be running home to watch like the last minute and then the credits, but for whatever, I could regularly see this one. So right. we'll get to it. All right, y'all. So it is cartoons and cereal. Let's do a little cereal talk here. How do you feel about seasonal cereals? You know, this is a, I don't think this was a thing of our youth, but it is a thing now, like where every summer, I mean, of course we know about the Halloween cereals, but even in the summer now they come out with summer editions of their cereals. You know, uh, well, the big movie of that year. Yeah. Too, well, uh, yeah. And that's a different that's a topic on a different podcast here coming. But like, you know, you got your su- summer Fruity Pebbles. You know, I love blueberry everything. You know, your blueberry Captain Crunch. Like there's these like things that come out just in the summer. And it doesn't I mean, and there's other ones, too. Like, you know, like the I, I wouldn't eat it. But the uh, cereal, the icy cereal, you know, like the frozen thing, like icy <laughs> cereal. That's a summer cereal. Like these are things that come out only in the summer. Do you, is there a summer cereal that you buy? You know, are you into besides Halloween? Because I know Hutch and these monster cereals. Is there anything that comes out exclusively in the summer? Do you want to take that? Big I, I don't mess with it. I, yeah, I don't do. the No, other than the Halloween stuff. I, don't I was think I do seasonals. Yeah, I mean that was that's the one that was probably in our time, right? And what oh. we what we discovered was monster cereal was better because you couldn't have it all the time. And as soon as you could, <laughs> you're like this shit this is trash. sucks. 
but i would say also like with these flavors like it's just adding a different variety of sugar and i think we've covered the ground pretty well that like where we are cereal has a different role in our lives these days (laughs) it's it's one of two things it's like i need some fiber or i'm hungry and i don't feel like cooking at 11 o'clock at night so Mm. or i i'm trying to knock myself off (laughs) (laughs) well then you can i think the seasonal summer cereals would be perfect for that yes exactly i think they're extra two on and off you go yeah i mean again as as fruity pebbles are trash i can't imagine the summer Mm -hmm. fruity pebbles are any better the first bite of fruity pebbles is fine and like seven seconds later after that milk turns it into like mud yeah, <laughs> red, red, cocoa red, pebbles red, are worse. Red, Fruity red, pebbles red. are better than cocoa pebbles, and Oof. I'm not being racist. I'm just, I'm just saying. understood. It is what it is. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, if there was a, a decent summer cereal that came out, I would probably be okay with it. Like I tried that blueberry uh, Captain Crunch just because again I like blueberries, but it was just like Captain Crunch in blue. And you know, yeah, like, and it wasn't not, like it tastes there, like blueberries. There's not a cereal that's labeled with the flavor of a fruit. That tastes like that fruit. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I, I mean, I, I like. I have, I have a, I bought four boxes of cereal, and mm. one of them is, uh, Captain Crunch, ba- just berries. <laughs> That's the only one that ain't open. Yes, we got. Also- I actually, I today I got uh, Golden Grams, which is mm-hmm. still a solid. That, uh, yeah, that's a solid choice. And yeah. I got Cinnamon Checks, which I've been liking. And then my daughter wanted to try Frosted Flakes, and so I was like, "Well, you know, if you want to surrender your cereal picking <laughs> choice, you know, forever, like go ahead and get your Frosted Flakes because it's trash, <laughs> and you can get this one time, and then I'm picking the cereal from here on." Wow, that's okay. So first off, Frosted Flakes are not trash. They are trash. And they're not trash. They're, they're trash now. They used to not be trash. Uh, I bought today. That's funny that we all bought cereal today. I bought, because it was BOGO, I bought uh, Honey Nut Cheerios yep. and uh, for myself. And then uh, I think it was uh, Lucky Charms. For the- <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I can't. Yeah. I can't mess with no Lucky Charms at this point. That's no. not going to work. Yeah. Although it's, it's if fine. I did eat a bowl of Lucky Charms, I would still probably like eat all the not marshmallows first to end up with a yes. big bowl of marshmallows. Yeah, just there you go. So. yeah that's, that's the skills. That's the skill. All right. Let's jump into the show, y'all. I know we keep de- uh, delaying it. All right. Here's your show premise, y'all. Uh, there's some cat people that got <laughs> stuck on Earth 3. And then have wacky adventures. I mean, you could read this whole thing straight from Wiki or whatever. But, I mean, essentially, that's what it is. Uh, so, again, I didn't watch this show. So, I watched the pilot. And I'm like, why is Lionel a little kid? Because I had no idea that that was a thing. You know, so they get attacked. They have to go into suspended animation. They wind up on Earth 3. And then it's they third Earth. Come third on. Third Earth. Sorry, whatever, man. Same thing. And then they wind up on this planet, but the bad people follow them through there too. And they somehow didn't age, but whatever. And, you know, the wacky adventures essentially start on third earth, you know, and, you know, he has this, this sword that has the, what, what's it called? What's it called? Brother B was the eye of the sword of omens with the eye of thunder. Did you not do any work for this? Yeah, Yeah. Because I'm listening to this thing and I'm like, come on, man. I I could, I, I, for years, I, Sorry, for yeah, years, yeah. for years, I thought it was thunder, thunder, thundercats. Oh, it's four thunders. Mm. Who knew? Who knew? I've been lied to my entire life. Four I, thunders. I can't say I would have nailed that either. Yeah, I would have said three. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's four. Uh, but yeah, and so they wind up on this thing, and then the bad guys are trying to get the sword of omens. And then he uses that sword primarily to call the other Thundercats that are wandering in other places or doing other things because Lionel likes to think he knows everything and he's out doing things and he needs to be rescued all the time. Would that be fair? That's totally fair. Fairly close. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That I mean, that's basically it, you know. And he's got his sidekick, you know, his supposed to be his protector, Snarf, uh, to watch over him, but he just really becomes an annoying sidekick character. Correct. Yeah, I mean, you're led to believe that, like, he's actually, he must have apparently, like, been right on the cusp of Thundercat puberty. 
mm-hmm. because like they're you're led to believe he's very similar in age to the Thunder Kittens or whatever they're called. Yes, mm-hmm. and Wiley so, but, Cat, so Wiley like Kit. he's all like buff man cat, but they like like the he wants to be an adult, but the the Thunder Kittens are like yeah, you're just like another kid, and the adults kind of baby him too. So that's why he goes off and is a little bitch most of the time. Okay. Yeah, I I had no idea the premise of this show. It was really just the logo. That's what I knew and what I was comfortable with. And I'm not saying that. And again, I've watched, I think, four or five episodes so far. It's not a bad cartoon in the first five episodes. It's pretty formulatic. Mm. Like, you know exactly what's going to happen every single time. Nobody but knows. it looks, but hold on. But the show looks amazing. And I think this is what, besides the logo, this is what people remember the most, is that the show looks, the, uh, the animation is just completely different than anything that we would have seen in 1985 hutch absolutely and, and during yeah during the usually the crappy cartoon uh that we used to watch after school yeah right yeah there's this i mean there's nothing that can hold like anything to it you know outside of maybe transformers and you know some of the other japanese animated shows yeah. at that time but like at even gngi joe like those shows again you'd probably very similar studios that uh, animated them in Japan, and as well as I'm sure some people are not living after animating so many episodes of these things. Because when we get into the wiki facts, you would have never in a thousand years thought this. So 130 with, and, total episodes. And where does it was like a Star Blazers and Voltron? Like where is these are? Is that before now? Or is that like because they're it's, in the same window here? Yeah, because that that's that's the thing is like they were. If they could get that Japanese animation team, then it was probably even be decent. But yeah, it's in the same window. But again, and Hutch will tell you too, and Sandman used to be an expert on this stuff too. He's like, Oh yeah, the Voltron that we were watching in nineteen eighty five, this shit was like drawn in like nineteen eighty one or yeah. eighty two. Like, you know, it was done a long time ago. It just took forever to get over to us. All right. So the wiki facts, and we're discovering this as a thing too. So these were started out as a toy line before launching into the cartoon. This happened with the trans. That. Yep, the Transformers it happened with before, too. And I believe, uh, you know, G.I. Joe was obviously toys before it became a cartoon as well. But this and Marvel Secret Secret Wars also, yeah. <laughs> also uh, you know, launched as a toy line before it became a, a major comic book. And so, y'all, I'm assuming nobody's got any of these toys. These were, if if I recall correctly, these were a little more expensive and they were bigger in scale. So it's not mm-hmm. like you could be like, it's not like you were like just rolling a gold circle with two dollars or something like that and walk <laughs> away with Thundercat. So no, and they weren't no. great either. They were like big, but yeah, you can see they're yeah. not articulated. Yeah, they look pretty bulky. So and no, I, huh? I think it was like also the other thing that was annoying was if I remember right, like you would get. Lion O with Snarf, he was like the add on, but Snarf wasn't a Snarf was basically just like one mold. And mm-hmm. same thing for Wily Kit and Wily Cat. Oh, they couldn't move, you mean? Yeah, they were just like a, an, it, so there was like an add on, but they weren't actually figures. They were just it's, it's twins with Schwarzenegger and Dane DeVito. Yeah, mm. pretty much. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I, yeah, I could I, be wrong. But. I didn't even know that they had toys. So, yeah. I mean, that should be where we are i assume okay. that they also had the thunder tank and the thunder lair thunder tank yeah lair. yeah the thunder tank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah where yeah where is our mum 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 yeah mom, mom, in, yeah mom. and i'm sure they had the full cast of um, <sighs> okay so hutch brought it up before we started recording all right so hutch you are when this premieres and we'll get to that in a second in january of 85 you are closer to being a graduate of high school than yeah. us yeah. So you're saying that you're you're out of the, but we know you can't lie to us. You weren't like you were out of the nerd geek game at this point. I, I wasn't right? out of the nerd geek game, but you can't be like, you can't be talking about, hey man, did you watch Thundercast last or this morning or last night or whatever. That's you can't you can't say that on a, on the damn uncool bus and <laughs> that, with, on, on our side of town and not yeah. get yeah. fucking rode for thirty quality well, minutes. I mean, yeah, it wasn't better on my side of town either. <laughs> like, I don't think you had to, you know, be as concerned for your life, perhaps. But perhaps, yeah. okay, right. okay. But looking, run that forward. History would tell us, or Facebook would tell us that people was watching this shit 
two oh, yeah. at this yeah, particular yeah. time, they was just hiding their nerddom like we were as well. Right. Like people were really into this shit too. Yeah. So it's not like, it, I mean, it, you know, it was like, find your circle, you know, find your, your, your group of people that are going to support right. you through whatever. And then like 30, 40 years later, you can do podcasts with them. Right. Yeah. Right. The Breakfast Club. Right. He had, to talk about the, he had to talk about the Breakfast Club. You had to talk about, you know, Friday the 13th or yeah. that shit stuff. You came and talk about the Thundercats and yeah. not catch Hades. Yeah, now I, I understand the the premise behind that. I really do, but this is—I mean, I'm a freshman ish, probably. So eighth grade, ninth grade. I mean, I was still into that. I oh, just we was were, not that into was, this that was in middle school, right? Yeah, I'm just. I just wait. I no, in. 85, 89. That was, no, this was yeah. straight up high school. Yep. So, like, what do you think, Hutch? I mean, or, excuse what me. Me, what I think, brother Beavis. Sorry, no. It's what do you think, brother Beavis? Were you able to like watch this? I mean, obviously, your safety wasn't in danger, but, you know, were you able to talk about this with your friends? I mean, no, like, is it in in much the same way, like, D&D wasn't a topic of discussion. Like, you had to find a safe place for that, right? <laughs> right. You had to like be on the individual. other side of the school or some shit. Yeah, you could, yeah, you couldn't be in the corner with the people smoking squares talking about thunder cats. And you certainly <laughs> could be with the, the roughneck crew that I rode with and yeah. talk about the thunder cats, oh, yeah. and the I, girls that, are like, "What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you smell like thundercat. Right? Oh. <laughs> they kind of like. Do you think about the charo naked or whatever? <laughs> they call me lion, oh girl. That's right. All right. So, why don't you ask me tired to go prompt you? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, uh, we gotta talk about Chitara in a moment here. Well. Oh. Anyway, all right. So yeah, Japanese oh, anime if studio. You may have missed an opportunity, but I have faith Ooh. in you. Let's see how it goes. Oh, uh, who never know. All right. So there was also a comic book about this produced by Marvel, no less. That's why Big Hutch was out because. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 yeah. I mean, what the hell? I'm, I'm also play tennis too. Oh yeah. boy, I was right. I was really and had yeah. socks up to my knees. So yes, I was really working it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we all we all had our moments, man. That's all yeah. we could say. We were it's, we were no better than you. Yeah, so exactly. We all had our own issues. Yeah, yours yeah. just happened to be big glasses, high too. socks yeah. with the wallet <laughs> jumping the top of it. Uh, all right. So th- I remember these star comics that was like the, the imprint that Marvel had for like kind of little kids comic books. I can't remember any of the others. And if you want to wiki that, like Richie, I remember. Richie Rich had a comic book, didn't he? Or... Well, yeah, but I don't know if that and was Heathcliff? produced by Marvel. Now, Heathcliff might have been produced by Marvel, but I'm not sure if uh, whatever. But I did also didn't know, again, 85. I'm collecting books at this particular time for sure. I certainly didn't have any Thundercats. Number one, if you want to get upset, go look at how much Thundercats number one is worth on the GI Joe's. Yeah, yeah so Transformers. There's like a Kickstarter out right now where they're binding the whole like the whole GI Joe run. It's like three hundred dollars about the minimum buy-in. Yikes, that's crazy. So, and then there was a video game as well in '87. I can only imagine what that was. It was a walkthrough. I saw like you can like see the graphics. Scrolling? Yeah, yeah, you can see the um. You can see the graphics on there. It looks as shitty as you thought it would look. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I don't remember what the Probably game. Running, dude. I don't remember what the game system was that was running it, but it looked pretty awful. If it's I'm 1980 something, yeah, in 87. So what are we looking at? Nintendo probably. It's probably on Nintendo. That'd be my guess. Yeah, NES was out then, right? Yeah. yeah. So that that would have to be it. And then again, I, so it has this big imprint. But most people only remember the cartoon, and I would actually say that most people really only remember the emblem, and not necessarily the cartoon. They, and they that, remember they remember that star, that sword, and that and that look. They remember thunder, 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 extra thunder, thunder, cat's hoe. That's what they remember, because I mean, it, it, it's not a show that in a, a, uh, if we're working on wiki. It's it's owned by WB. Like, you know, the rights have reverted to them. So it's owned by WB. That's not streaming on Max or anything like any of their properties or whatever. It's not on any of the T and, you know, TBS, Cartoon Network, like Toonami. Like, none of that. It's just 
is a show that used to be on Nam 40 years ago. That's basically it, you know, with a whole emblem that, again, that you can go to Hot Topics and pick up that shirt very, very easily. All right, let's jump into it. What else was on, Hutch? All right, so I think I sent you all this yesterday, and if you wanted to see. So this show premiered in January 23rd, 1985. I scoured the internet of the Dayton Daily News through many, many newspapers looking to see, like, oh, okay, January 23rd, that should got to be on. January? Nope. February? No. March? No. April? Yeah. I didn't find that shit until until January, uh, sorry, until Summer. September of freaking 1985. Mm -hmm. So much like as Hutch has in, implied that, you know, Cool Ranch Doritos is introducing the black community early and not out to the mainstream public, we did not get Thundercats early, Hutch. No, and right, in summer of 85, or September 1985 was my senior year in high school, or at least right. the start of it, so yeah. And you're saying that there was no cartoons on the agenda? If, you know, if I didn't want to meet, well, I kind of, whatever, Molly and her five friends, yeah. <laughs> you talk about fucking Thundercats. So now was middle school for us, right? Last yeah, it's middle, middle school. school. Yeah, like I was thinking about this. I this is probably on the cusp. Oh, yeah. of us actually meeting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like this would have been around. We're well, not here, but probably like. Yeah, I didn't even tell you I was watching Thundercats. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like this was super secret decoder ring shit. <laughs> Let's keep it real, nigga. You didn't even have cable, so uh, I don't know what you were watching to begin with. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know. Know. yeah, it's all what, what is on 46? What channel was it? It was on channel uh I think 19. So the ch channel out of Cincinnati. So even for us, well, we would have had cable, but you know, <laughs> maybe a year or two prior to that, we would have had the rabbit ears out trying to adjust that for two. So that's what I was saying. What 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 else is on? So we don't we're at our middle school. So you had to write, okay, so yeah. let's, let's do a historical lesson here uh, for you people that aren't grew up where we were. So um, our city schools did segregation the right way. Um, uh, after, after I remember seeing some people protest when I was segregated. Well, <laughs> that's not what I meant. But I was saying, so what they did is that kids that lived on the white side of town for middle school were bussed to the black side of town. What and middle then, school? I mean, it was middle school, but I first grade, I got put on a bus. Well, yeah, like I think you got alternated yeah. years, like yeah, where yeah, you yeah. got bussed to the yeah. to the other side of town and vice versa. And that's how we grew up too. But then middle school. To Shiloh. And, oh yeah, yeah, middle school then. I was like third grade for me. Yeah, yeah. So middle school, you got bussed all the way out there. And then high school, the blacks got bust out to the white schools well i'm live. sure half the other i'm sure it was split for half the population yeah so they didn't yeah. shut down the schools on each side of the yeah <laughs> well, but for us for middle school again i only remember this specifically is because i used to be able to get out like ours middle school got out at two o'clock and i was able to walk or run home because i had a paper route then Mm -hmm. And then my whole thing was try to deliver my entire paper route, pick up my papers, do everything, and then deliver all my papers and get home before Voltron came on at 3.30. Like, that was me. So you had to be on the bus, so you had obviously a different time frame trying to get home. But I would say at a minimum of 3.30 or so, that's when we yeah. were starting to watch our shows. So, I mean, look at what's on. I mean, they, we were. I, I said the, the group chat, we were eating pretty good there for a bit. There's some great shows on here. Yeah. I mean, He Man's on. He's come on. You, well, come I'm on. sorry. You well, need yeah. to back up. Come on. You just said great shows, and then well. the next thing out of your mouth was He Man. <laughs> right. He, yeah, he Man. He Man is worse than He Man is That's worse fair. than this. That's fair. Super he Man doesn't hold up friend. because it always sucked. I'm just <laughs> <saying>. Okay. <laughs> well, Art Bucky. Well, yeah. Y'all didn't watch that reboot with Kevin Smith? No. no. Uh, no. The, actually, the She-Ra Princess Power Show was great. It was phenomenal. Okay. I'm going to throw that out there. The new okay. one. Noted. All right. Anything that you see, though, Hush, like you would have been coming home after me. I came home. Four o'clock or so. Three, you yeah, if I came home about four-ish. The one thing I saw in here was this Happy Days Again, and apparently that was just a name for syndicated Happy Days. That wasn't like a... Oh, word. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
because I was like, was that the Joni? Like, what kind of what kind of reboot was that? But yeah, no, they, yeah. it was like an alternate title. Now this is our local hometown too. There's a lot of country shit on and farm reports that I had obviously wasn't watching uh, because didn't. Uh, I should have been doing homework looking at half of this shit, but I didn't yeah. Do that either. Uh, so what was what was a non cable life like, brother <laughs> people? Because like okay, so we have cable, so we can get nineteen. Channel sixty four was not on the local the cable box at that time. We no. might have had cable by then because, like, okay. when did that X Men show? Because I would have had to see. Then I was watching wrestling. Well, was that though? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It would no, have been see. Close. I think by then we were probably because we would we would periodically get it. You know, whenever it was free or whatever. Mm. I think probably by this time we we were we were probably had it going forward. That green box with the slider okay. or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. But the I will say that the biggest like. Um, one of the the biggest non cable memories I have was trying to catch like Flash Gordon out of Cincinnati mm -hmm. upstairs yeah, on the black and white TV, which was on black and white TV, and just like you know, you you get it in the most uncomfortable position possible with the right. antenna, <laughs> and then you let go and you lose the signal. Like, yeah. like I don't have the endurance to like my shoulders cannot <laughs> take oh, twenty two minutes of this. Right. Yeah. yeah. I I'm thinking, okay, so 3.30, let's say no to He-Man, he -Man, Super what Friends the, on, Inspector Gadget. I, I would have watched, I would have definitely watched Superman or Super Friends with 3.30. 3:30. Yeah. That would have been the Super choice. Uh, Inspector Gadget. I know people like that show. I never got into Inspector Gadget at all. And then, Inspector Gadget came on like Sundays. I, I remember it being on Sundays when there was nothing else on and I would watch it just because. Right. Uh, so there's my Voltron. They're saying it at four o'clock here. I remember three thirty, but whatever. Um, uh, I mean, and then like you see, like some and, of the other cars on Friday. Blech. Yeah, Star Blazers was on, but that was on mm. Channel sixty four. Like, yeah. I mean, that. Yeah, I, 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 we were doing all right, man. Yeah. And again, I know I wasn't doing any homework. I pretty much would come home and watch whatever this was until Ma told us we couldn't watch it anymore. Right. Or the video game or something with something. Or yeah. Go play tennis or something or something. Mm, so, yeah, I'm just saying. There were other things on. This is probably why I did not watch this particular show. Uh, because it was probably on time. Something else that I liked was on. And there was no, you know, no DVRs back then, folks. Just VCRs. A lot of VHS. Yep. All right. Let's look at the voice actors, y'all. Lion O, voiced by Larry Kenny, still alive. Uh, he has other voices as well, but oh, this is it Lion voice. L. No, it's Lion O. Lion O. It's Lion O, right? I'm not crazy. It's Lion O. It's Lion O. It's I Lion think o. you're thinking of, li of the Lionel Richie, like all those memes. No, not the Lionel Richie. Lion O. It's awesome. Lion O. Yeah, it's, it's, it's for sure Lion O. No, it's Lion, Lion o. o. I I never did. I would never thought. Forty years later, I'd be doing a podcast about it so sure we'll go you, with you probably had to like bury it deep down so. yeah exactly uh tigra voiced by peter newman uh he was my favorite character if that makes any sense really? probably he looked was like, like a bangle. he was yeah. badass but like he was also like you knew he was gonna like you knew he was not going to save the day like right. he had cool powers and stuff right he right he was he was Ooh, not going to turn the he, tide. He's Fred. He's he's uh. No, he to, he's Robert Gibson. He was going right. to take the pinfall <laughs> when the mutant showed well, up. You say he was cool. So okay. he had the uh, he had the like the bowl the ball the balls no, right. Yeah, like, he had like a whip with the balls and he throw. Yeah, them that's Polo, right. something mm -hmm. something. Let's look going forward. Chitara Lynn Lipton also still alive. Okay, so. Yes, sir. Can we talk about Chitara? Uh, <laughs> it's that version of the podcast, y'all. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what, is, what is this? Thundercats After Dark? Pretty much. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. it wasn't terrible as a cartoon character. I mean, look, we're, we're going to sit here and lie and be like, we never thought, like, hey, hey you know what? Smurfette. Uh, don't ever talk about Dazzler again. And, 
you know, know, and there was some tension between Lion-O and Chitara despite the voice difference. But so she mm. might have been like they should have called her like Kugara or something like that. Right. <laughs> right. I thought I thought her and old boy were something, but apparently not. Oh, I thought yeah. But and she had like the the, the bolo stick and like gambit like she That's not a bolo stick. What is yeah. it called? Uh, bow staff, yeah, bow staff. Yeah. but it's like yeah. shrank and got yeah. like bigger she or whatever. Would, so she much like lion mm. uh, <laughs> yeah for some reason they both had uh they both had weapons that when they got excited they grew i don't understand <laughs> <the situation>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she would wear much like diana from the dungeons and dragons cartoon she yeah. would wear yeah. it on her wrist and then she, when she mm. needed it she would pop it off All right. okay yeah um you missed so what I was holding out for you. Jade Cargill came out in Chitara cosplay at one of the the. the, the oh no, I definitely missed that. You might have to uh, do a screen share. Yeah, it was worth seeing. I bet. Yeah, not mad about that at all. I, I was like, "Is this?" I was like, "Is this clothes or paint?" I can't tell. It's mm, and I don't mm, know if I want to know. I was there. You I was want to know? All right, Panthro, voiced no, by Earl Hyman. Are yep. you serious? Or now, yeah. damn. He's R.I.P. That's why I did a different crossover there. All right. So Earl Hyman, the voice of Panthro. Uh, okay. Okay. So much like Scatman Crothers on Transformers, uh, some other folks, uh, James Avery on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. So black people know like when black people are voicing characters, we're like, oh, that's the black character. It's the freaking uh, Leonardo DiCaprio meme, you know? It's just like, oh, okay. So everybody's tigers, but like we know that's the black tiger. Well, like, I didn't know he was voiced by a black actor, but I, he was definitely coded as black. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. So Earl Hyman, primarily known to being the grandfather of the Huxtable kids or H Cliff's dad on the Cosby show. And uh, just recently passed within the last within the COVID years here uh, that he had just passed away. Um, but yeah, Panthro, again, he's black. That's my favorite character. Yeah, you Panthro's know, so. great. Wait, yeah. you have two favorite characters on this show you've never well, seen? Well, he was my favorite character. You said Tiger was your favorite He character. was my favorite. He looks like a tiger, like a Bengal tiger. But well, like, how many you know, favorite characters do you have on this show I have that you've never of, watched? Look, man, <laughs> I'm about to go like and print out some Cheetar things and go to the bathroom here. This <laughs> All right? So no, Panthro like, was great because yes. he was all he had. He was he all had busy. Karate, he had nunchucks. Yes. There was he literally the nothing nunchuck. cooler than nunchucks when we were. Yes, in high school. Yeah. <laughs> he was and all he, business, and he created the like the Panther oh, yeah. car, he built everything. The, right. yeah, the chauffeur. And, yes. Well, they did put well. his ass to work. That was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was always hustling. <laughs> Where you start feeling that <laughs> onion, like damn. He was out in the field a lot. <laughs> right, he was right. He was always working on the the, the vehicle or something. Yeah, it was, uh, whoever Scatman Crothers is on Transformers is like that too. It's like Chaz. Was, was he, Chaz, was he yeah. Chaz? Yeah, he's always. Why is he always working? Damn, he got nothing else to do. I forgot yeah. about the army tank on that show. By the way, when we get there, I was like, "Who is this?" But he had a mm. prominent role anyway. Yes, for sure. But yeah, Earl Hyman, and then our villain our main villain outside of all the mutants uh is mumra first and also deceased by earl hammond uh you know he's gone i don't remember anything else that he's been in or whatever and that's pretty much it. so he, he's like the the fred tatasori voice of like i'll i'll do everybody else just i'll yeah. do all the growling and voice you know, yeah. yeah i mean and we can talk about the villain here before we get to the as we start to close up but like yeah it, it's just i mean Again, the animation's good. The voice acting's good. I, I, again, the episodes that I've seen, I know you're like, oh, it gets terrible or whatever, but I can't imagine that it gets any... It's not that it's terrible, but I can't imagine that it gets much more terrible. Like, it seems like it's just going to be the same thing over again. But I also can't believe they got 130 episodes out of this mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. Like, that seems insane to me I, that there's I'm, that many I'm episodes. I'm sure I didn't see well, more than 20. Because it's, what, four years, and it would do, like, 26 episode orders, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I, but I think, like, season one was some ridiculous order, like mm. 59 episodes, you know, that mm. they just busted into whatever, you know, different seasons. But, like, I mean, they just I, initially drew so many episodes. It's like, man. I'm, like, I'm, even, I'm oh, giving yeah. back some onion layers. It was so I, – I swear to goodness, it was like a week series, or they showed it like a week. It was week. every day. Oh, yeah, to, to yeah. see like we're gonna like it or not. And then I guess once it got accepted, 
that's when they started showing these extra episodes or something. Right. So that's what that's what I'm thinking. I don't remember. Don't don't quote me on it. But again, a lot of the shows that we think that we we're like, oh, cartoons are serial. We talk about Saturdays, but a lot of these are were weekday shows that you know, Transformers a weekday show, GI Joe every day, this show's every day, Voltron's every day. Like those were everyday shows that you could see. But whether we aged out, whether it was on for like two months and then it went away for the freaking Dayton Farm report or whatever, it we never got a chance to see the I mean, I love Voltron Hutchkin a test of that. I assure you I have not seen all 70 episodes mm. of that shit. Not even close. And that's not even counting the cars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like it, it's it was on. I think I think it's a little probably a little bit of all of that. I think we kind of aged out or it was on for a certain t- period of time and then they took it away. And, you know, we just never came back to it or it never came back. And, you know, that's what they make DVDs for y'all and YouTube. You can go back and, and, and you'll buy them and you'll watch them. Yeah. Well, you go through YouTube and you sit there and watch it. Like, I think I, I was going to. I wasn't sure we were going to record today. I was going to do like a different feature and I might do it for Transformers for the, you know, the people that have children in this podcast. Like have one your youngest. You got one. But have your youngest watch the show that we were watching that we're going to review. And just kind of hear what they think. Because my daughter was watching Thundercats and she was like, mm, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I'm like, oh, the animation, you know. Mm, mm. So, yeah. So I'm kind of how about how about you have your wife watch it with you and oh, see how long you're on the couch? I, see, I don't want to have to ground my child. Like it was like watch the Thundercat episode. This sucks. You're grounded. Get out of here. Yeah, you're gonna stand in the corner and watch it. <laughs> Give and me your like, phone. Yeah. Put it on YouTube for you. And I sit here and watch it. Oh my god. All right. That's terrible. All right, so yeah, your voices, Willie Cat, Wiley Cat, and Willie Wiley Kate. Oh, they doubled whatever. down. Yeah, they did. It's just we had to pay two other people. I didn't understand that part though, because they didn't age in the suspended animation part. Well, where they again, were... they weren't on the cusp of puberty, uh, Thundercat puberty. So, mm. the, it's just okay. like when you get a kitten, and like three weeks later, it's huge. It's the same <laughs> principle here. <laughs> Yeah, the, I, I just didn't Maybe understand just me, that. But. Yeah, I understand. But yeah, I didn't understand that. And then again, this you're getting into what, uh, like the not even the teenage sidekicks from like Super Friends was that Jan and, Jan and Zane. Yeah, Martin, yeah, like Jace Martin, or whatever, Marvin and Wendy. Wendy. It was just like, like, do you already have a fairly large group of people in this cast already? And then adding two more and a sidekick was like man that seems like a lot you know there's not a lot for everybody to do here if you're if your group of people you're trying to pitch this to are a bunch of kids high on cereal you know that that add started to kick in well i think too the formula says you need the comic relief twins right yeah the the formula says you might be trying to make this like look cool and eventually appeal to 50 year old men but Mm. You need these like <laughs> children on here. Yeah, but I would also say the, the, who, the target audience for this show. Again, we're fifteen and above. <laughs> obviously, obviously, high school age males. What? Yeah, it's, <laughs> we're obviously <laughs> out of the age group here. But we also had, we also had. Well, we barely had anybody in our life that would have been under that age at that point. But like, so I, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. I, it, it seems the people that only remember this show are definitely AARP members. Mm. So it's not like the people that caught it when they were 10, five years younger than us or whatever. Like, oh, yeah, I remember that show. I don't think that was the case. But either. I also think, like, you know, it, it hasn't really been exploited since other than, like, the Hot Topic image. And, you, you know, you see, like, with you can sell Flash shirts based on the, the stupid big bang theory with people yeah. who don't have any idea what the comic is but thundercats mm-hmm. is you know it's it's a t-shirt it's never there's not you know say what you will about the michael bay movies transformers re-entered the public consciousness because mm-hmm. of you know a lot of that um right. because they've rebooted this there's been iterations of this show yeah. oh we're they, they, they yeah. do yeah, yeah. They yeah. yeah. you're jumping ahead yeah y'all are the advanced group all right so there's been two reboots uh anybody seen any second of either of these two shows i watched 
I watched an episode of Thundercats. Ro- so I'll back up. I love the Teen Titans cartoon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, here we go. I go appreciate ahead. the Teen Titans, Titans go, go or Titans for yeah. what it is. Teen Titans go. I Thank love you. the Teen Titans cartoon. I appreciate Teen Titans go for what it is, which is completely distinct from Teen Titans. And I can appreciate, I could sit there and enjoy it. And, and the fact that it's like short episodes is almost even better. Mm. I watched an episode of Thundercats Roar expecting to hate it. And I, I, I had fun with it. Where's that mute button? <laughs> <laughs> Banned for life. Because <laughs> they had the Robert Burbles and like Mumra was what? trying to. What? They had the Robert Burbles on it. Mumra was trying to kill him. And they kept saying his name or something. Every time he did, he got struck by lightning. It was hilarious. Mm. Uh, okay. Oh, Let me take the opposite side of this. And this is one of those rare occasions where Brother Beavis and I would disagree. I hate Teen Titans Go with a fucking passion. Everybody in this house loves that show, and I want to go play in traffic when it's on. Yeah, I get that. And um, I just can't. I cannot see that show after seeing what they gave us with that Titans other cartoon mm-hmm. and then giving me that. Like, I just refuse to do yeah, it. It's that's like watching Superhero Squad yeah. after Earth's Mightiest Heroes. And I that's, just, I that's can't. legit because that's the, that's like, that's the struggle I have when I watch it. Like, okay, this is whatever it is. It serves whatever purpose, but it's at the expense of something that was really good and not finished. Right. So, and so, and then the one in 2011, I kind of remember that, like it being a thing. And they were like, oh, yeah, we're rebooting, you know, that and like seeing like a preview or something. But I would have had like a five year old and a four year old. Yeah. There was no cartoon. Watching and they that. did this with He Man too. And I, I'm sure it's probably fine, but it's just like, whatever. Yeah. Not a second hot of either one. Not, not one hot second. I didn't even know there was a Thundercats roller. Oh, okay. and, and Thundercats Roar 52 episodes is probably two per 22 minutes. If I yeah, it was uh, yeah two 11-minute episodes, but it only got one season. The one in 2011 got 26, only one season. You know, it just, I think that's yeah. what speaks to what you're saying. Like, it just never re-entered the zeitgeist of popular culture. Here. Right. And I, I will say, like, I, I, can, I can actually appreciate the animation of Teen Titans Go much more than Thundercats Roar, which is just, like... I don't know. Bizarrely, what what in the heck is that? Is that is that that? I don't even. Want, I, I just, yeah, <laughs> I'm staring at it. Just our it, hey, it's, 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 it's like uh, a pup named Scooby Doo, but worse in terms of like <laughs> the transformation of the style of one to the style of the other. Right, mm. or, or like Scott Pilgrim, or what in the hell? What in yeah, yeah whatever. I I. I remember when they were doing the roar, the reboot, and I saw it and I was like, oh, that's that other show, a just a different version. Mm-hmm. Like, this is real popular, so we're gonna try to reboot another property in the same way. And I'm like, nope, I don't this, like that. This one on Cartoon all. Network? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. They pay good money for that. Oh, wow, and yeah, one season. And the other I mean, one, obviously, they pay good money for because of the animation. I mean, maybe I think this is probably still coming up, but you pass the voice crew. Who who does the voice of Snarf? We haven't talked about Snarf yet. It doesn't matter what you think. Who cares who did Snarf? Nobody cares. Snarf. Nobody. Uh, Nobody. You have to look great. Up. No. Oh my God. Where is that? Button. <laughs> God almighty, what Snarf, is wrong with you? Snarf, oh my, oh my Snarf God. was great. Dude, now, no. if you can imagine, because I don't think you've been there yet, they actually introduce another Snarf. snarf That's like a lady snarf, snarf, right? Right? A girl no. snarf. A lady Well, snarf? they may, but he also has an annoying cousin. Oh, he like, something like that. Oh, yeah. they gave he a cousin. Had, they, they, they essentially the girl snarf, snarf, they introduced maybe. Scrappy Snarf, who is yes, an maybe, abomination. Maybe that's Oracle. Girl, okay. girl snarf. Okay, so as Hodge is looking that up. So what we found, and I think we knew it then, but it's just become, you know, there's been articles and videos or whatever written about so often of having an annoying sidekick character or in animation, live action. I mean, Cousin Oliver Snarf here is what Hutch is looking up. Like they're introducing these characters onto shows either at the beginning or when a show is lagging 
and they mm-hmm. tried to introduce a new character to it has to be the sale toys there's no way the scrappy dude was introduced people thinking that it was going to work and so snarf is that particular comic you know side character you know the go that has the catchphrase you could have sold it on t-shirts if that was the thing you know buy snarf with the button to push snarf 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 on it you know as you get your annoying jar jar yes exactly and so but kitty pride and jubilee are the character as well the problem with scrappy was he was also super powered so yeah in his mind at least yeah it's uh it's uh, these cartoons as adults are very obvious when you have these characters that were there to sell toys or something else or for little, little kids. They were all made to sell toys. But when we were this age, too, I think we recognize it at a certain point. Like, you know, Snarf was annoyed. You know, at Snarf was not annoying. Great. Snarf he, was Snarf like the nursemaid mad that made, oh, like, he called lion out on his bullshit. And mm-hmm. then he had to go save the day because lion was like, whatever. Well, always getting in trouble. Rip. Yeah. Nah, man. I can't. <laughs> There's no way I ain't I ain't got 130 snarf episodes in me. I, know I tell you, you of of these four, the, of these four, it's number one snarf, and nobody else is on the list. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna put it out that way. At least. Yeah, this is a this is right out of this group. Yeah, that's you, like okay, Orko is frontline, right? Scooby Doo yeah. would be the sidekick, and now I'll get I'll take Scooby Doo over snarf. But you put Scrappy on here. He's a derivative sidekick. Yeah, I just uh, it, they're all bad, and uh, again, like we've all a lot of these shows, especially in this, they're all bad except for anime. One. Yeah, come on, <laughs> look at this man defending Snarf. This ain't a dissertation, fool. <laughs> <laughs> man, it, 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 Snarf is terrible. This, I'm sorry. Is it, I mean, he's going Snarf full rom on this. I one. know, man, he is <laughs> oh, there we go. You found uh, <laughs> all right, well, yep, so I go. mean. All right, so uh, other annoying it's Rock and Roll sidekick. Express, Snarf, and Rom. That's <laughs> top, top to bottom. That's the weakness. Everybody has everybody, their everybody, everybody has their, we, Yeah, look everybody. up that podcast. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sandman went to see Justice League three times in the movie yep. theater. Yeah, everybody got their <laughs> sore spots. So, I, I annoying sidekick characters besides freaking his love of Snarf. I, these three are obviously really bad. And can you think of any other from cartoons that you can think of? I, mean, I know live action are all full of Cousin Olivers. Well, and- the funny thing is, like, you know, you take, like, Speed Buggy, um, Scooby-Doo, Chim right? Chim. They, it's, they weren't the sidekick. Yeah. They were the – that was the show. It was the show built around that. They were, like, the feature. Right. Um, so, yeah, Chim this Chim is definitely and, different. And that yeah. boy on Speed Racer. Yeah, Chim Chim's a bad sidekick character and also right. racist. Uh, Chim Chim. Um, Dino Mutt was Dino Mutt was the but Dino yeah oh, but Dino come Mutt's on now the, no Dino <laughs> Mutt was part Dino of Mutt's the, the feature oh Dino Mutt you're right wait yeah. no that was Blue Falcon and Blue Dino Falcon Mutt. right and no he was a legit that's like saying Robin is the annoying sidekick come on he, he was a he was a necessary partner he, and near peer was, to the featured character he, <laughs> Dino Bat Mutt Mike, Robin Bat Mike Bat yes Bat 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 Mike, terrible. Pat might uh yeah, got, right. guy in, and Godzuki <laughs> come on man like this is there, this were, there was there was baby yeah, schmoo <laughs> or baby yeah schmoo. baby schmoo yes exactly that's a good one too like it's just I don't again baby are, gloop what that baby gloop we were old enough to recognize this no matter what brother beaver says I wasn't yeah and that was that and I mean it's sci-fi still was that uh Biggie, Biggie, Biggie from uh, oh, uh, yeah. Buck Twiggy. Rogers. Biggie, Twiggy. Yeah, Twiggy. Buck, oh, now that was a show I could not see <laughs> because cable limitations. And oh, yeah. Like okay, man. Yeah. That's yeah. Wait, that was on regular TV. That was on syndication, so. sir. I yeah. Was, well, was well no, no, by the time it was on syndication, I. It, it was on yeah. NBC. Yeah. With yeah. that and uh, the. But right. yeah, Twiggy and all that stuff. Right? Yeah, Twiggy. Maybe we didn't yeah. get NBC on my t- side of town. You don't know. You don't know yeah. what it was like. <laughs> NBC came on. You'll know what it was like. Yeah. I was I was stuck over there at some time, sir. <laughs> His ROTC. Oh. 
as Hutch is looking that up. So we're not going to do a full uh, rewatch because the show is 25 minutes long, like the episodes. But I do want to watch the 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 theme song because I think it is the best part of the entire show, at least Our, one of the best parts. It's you know, definitely so, top three. Yeah, uh, and again, top three, top that's what something too I wanted to talk about in some of these shows as well is that playing the theme song because the theme songs are actually – Stuff to kind of get you hyped like from the beginning you know because transformers is a really good one too oh yeah you know i mean it was great yeah th that theme song are really you know like oh shit you know actually i got who's up talking about that autobots but, raids their yeah. battle to destroy the evil forces, forces uh, the the decepticons. Decepticons. like that's a, like the decepticons line to get you to stand up man Be like the decepticons. yeah oh i get hyped I, too. Too. Own this shit. I walk around like singing that song in my head. I do That's too sometimes as well. Oh, yes. So like, we're back to agreeing as opposed to you ass liking snarf, bitch ass. <laughs> Can't even show <laughs> that. It's fucking awful. All right. So if you're watching uh, on the YouTubes or whatever, we're about to play the theme song here. Hopefully, I did a test that you could hear it. Hopefully, you'll still hear it again. But let's go. This And this is how we get taken off the air. Exactly. Look at the animation. Look at the anime. This is un One, unbelievable. Two, three, four. <laughs> well, there's technically there's three Thundercats and one Thundercat. Three Thunders and one Thundercat. Yeah, we're, yeah, I'll yeah. take his technicality. Scarf. Yeah. Nice. This is a great. Now, who, who's singing the theme song? Kid video. <laughs> the only hope. There's the mutant villain. We didn't talk about the villains because they don't matter. They kind of matter. I think I heard a rumor that Eddie Van Halen did. Really? <laughs> That's a, yeah, boy. It's Sunday, sir. And he's dead. There's nothing. Great animation. Fuck you, villain. And pyramids and all that stuff, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this kind of action you see in the theme is not in the that, I mean, that's that's great. I'm sorry. that the Rare than the special Yeah, people game. watch that, and it's definitely not the show that you fully got. It's on there, um, but it's not fully. But I think, so. like, a lot of my favorite sci-fi and fantasy is when they tease, like, no, this actually was on your planet at some other time or space, and that was the implication of Third Earth, right? It's the third planet yeah. from the sun. Mm -hmm. And there's all these things that, like, you know, might resonate with different aspects of mythology and stuff like that. So, like, the Shannara series played that game. Oh, oh, I was going to say, like, because you were saying you didn't, you didn't watch this. I was like, some of my favorite podcast moments are when, like, me and Big Hutch just nerd out in a completely different dimension, and you're like, I don't even know y'all. Yeah, exactly. and this, I was assuming this might have been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, but no, like the and not only that, but like the theme song, like him, him when he would finally give up on like being Billy Badass and have to call for help, like right. his the the Sword of Thundera that was like his magical girl transformation that was great, but mm. Mumra's transformation. Was, was oh, the one of the highlights of the show. That was yeah. right. He yeah. right. He... Spirits of the dead transformed this <laughs> decade for the ever living. There's like there's show like the four pillars of like shit, and he would go crazy. Yeah. And then seconds later, he would get his ass, get his ass kicked, and yeah. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! My reflection. Wow. Ah, yeah. Oh, he had like he had some like Green Lantern weakness too. So right. yeah. So I when just, they when this came like the DVD the 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 DVD, DVD sets came out for this, I was hyped as shit. I got this, put it in first one. I was like, oh yeah. Man. And then yeah. like as you saw, like they job out Mumra almost instantly. And then you get like the Robert burbles. I'm like, what's what's happening right now? Mm -hmm. And they just like it's like villain of the week with the same formula. Right. Um, but like uh the the first part, like the trial of Lionel, which was a week long there was the week long specials for these shows were the best thing, and G.I. Joe was big for that too. But they had the mm -hmm. week long thing where he had to beef with all the Thundercats to become their to become their true lord. He's like, What? I'm already like your king or whatever. They're like, mm, no. So he had to like fight them all, and the mutants were fucking around in the middle of whatever. That was pretty sweet. Then there was a couple of a couple of villains that were okay, but then 
I don't know if it's season two or farther in, they introduced more Thundercats, and then it was mm. like, okay, this is a toy commercial. Yeah. And yeah, it was bad. Yeah, and I think that's kind of what we see with a lot of these shows. Like, you know, it's a couple of seasons. And again, I think we underestimate the aging out in different, um, like, uh interest that we had coming at that particular time or whatever because again we're getting onto the cusp of like when we're moving out of cartoons yeah we're gonna still watch them but like for brother beavis and i wrestling is about to become like massively important and you know that just took over saturdays or whatever like i don't remember really watching cartoons waiting for wcw to come on like i don't uh, not superstars but for whatever the saturday show was called not the 605 but the other one in the morning worldwide like, I don't remember watching cartoons ahead of that. It was like, oh, I'm just going to kind of, you know, mess around and do something until 11 o'clock. And so I can watch wrestling. So I, I think it's an wait, age thing, too. Wait for that horn to honk so we go get the grocery. Yeah, there was that, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, actually, that would, happen, that would happen at 10.59. Uh, so <laughs> I was waiting for this show to come on and that horn would come in right at that particular time. So, all right. So we'll be back. Our next show will be the Transformers. We will have, we'll, we you will sure about that? For it. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, right. he's going to have to shut back up for it. If we do it, uh, if not, then you have to have your backup shows in place. Uh, you know, I do have, I have Voltron on deck for myself. I'm assuming um, I'm credited for this one, right? Yes, you are credited for this. Yeah, Hush, once you pick a better shirt, we change your pajamas. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, why do I have to wear that shirt? Uh, <laughs> yeah. If, if I was going to put another one on, I would say you can't do Ultraman. We should have put Kid Video on the producer. Uh, my yeah, shirt, yeah. Where the stain well, of that? Yeah. Um, I mean, Ultraman is not is, but is that a? It's not a cartoon, yeah, right? Because I, I didn't watch that either. Yeah, it's yeah, like one of those like. Zip if work. I if how about, about the Star that? Avengers? Star Avengers, yeah, that works. Dang. That works. Dang. Yeah, I, I yeah, there was that, and I also had like I started um oh god, uh Battle Planets. Like Battle that's Planets, my, damn. Yeah, that's one of my, <laughs> yeah. That must have been that, on cable. Now that was all this must have been on cable. Oh. All that now that was on TBS. That's USA. Yeah, that USA. was on TBS. Back in the day, yeah, but y'all also, bougie. Uh, ch- y- y'all watching bougie that? watching cable, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, watching yeah. Battle Planets is gonna hurt your feelings because I, I, I've watched it, but I yeah. believe me, I went back and watched all these things later, yes. and I was like, fuck. Yeah, have you ever seen that show, uh, Brother Beavis, Battle of Planets? No. Okay, so I, spoiler I, alert. I there is name. a spoiler alert. The uh, your special move is turning your ship into the Phoenix effect, essentially. <laughs> Nice. So, it's also uh, called Gotcha Man in Japan. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, gotcha it's, uh, it's called Gotcha Bitch. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, it's one of those shows. It's like the animation is like incredible, and you're like, "Holy crap!" Or whatever. And then, and again, you hit your special move, and you can turn. You know, no, a, no blazing sword. You know, they turn the ship into the Partridge Phoenix. family. It's the Partridge yeah. family until yeah, it turns to that shit. Yeah, it's not. A, it's yeah. Mm. But all right, so we'll be back. I, not, hopefully, in the summer we can get through some of these because it's the summer. But uh, I know some of you people are still working, but damn it, I'm not. All right, so we'll see you uh, back. Uh, rate, review, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Uh, all the other podcast apps you can find this place. Peace, everybody. Say good night, everybody. Brother Beavis, say good night. Good night, everybody. Hodge, thanks for joining uh, in. Snarf, snarf. Uh, if I see anybody at Dragon Con is dressed up as this, I'm punching them in the dick. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>